Amen, amen. Come on in, everybody. Let's go ahead and give the Lord praise. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. God, we thank you, Jesus. Glory. Come on, you guys. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're so wonderful, God. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, we come before you, Father God, lifting you up, Jesus. Oh, God, we magnify you, Father. God, we thank you for your presence, oh, God. Oh, God, we thank you for your glory, God. We thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let your fire come, God. Let your fire come, God. Let your fire come, God, today, God. Have your way, Holy Spirit, oh, God. Have your way, Holy Spirit, today on this line, God. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We need you. Harashe Moroshe. Come on, let's pray. Let's warn our heavenly language. Morashe de 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 Mororo Mararara. Yes, God. Oroshe Ararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararararara
be a homosexual. You are free today in Jesus' name. Amen. God has forgiven your sins. So what if you committed adultery before? Amen. I decree and declare you repented of it and you're in right standing with God. No one can hold adultery over your head anymore. He without sin, let him throw the first stone in the name of Jesus. So what, you know, if, if you failed or you cheated or whatever you did on your test, if you robbed, still, you was in jail, no one can use that against you in the name of Jesus because our past do not determine our future. Our past don't determine where we're going because in Christ Jesus, we have a new start. I want to prophesy this day, new beginnings in our lives, new beginnings, a fresh start. We are new creatures in Christ. The old has been passed away in the name of Jesus. So what? You used to have an, a disease. Amen. God is a healer. My God, it doesn't matter what you had. Amen. I decree and declare we're going to use these ugly scars, these ugly pains we went through for the glory of God. In the name of, we're going to be free today. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare we're going to be naked and unashamed later for people's opinions. Nobody will ever be able to hold anything over our head because we'll be so bold. We'll be so transparent. We say, yes, we did that. And we're free in Christ because that's not who we are are today. Come on, we are men and women of God. We are children of the Most High God. And nobody's scars uh, meet your line if you got background noise. Nobody's scars can hold anything over our head. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you, Father God. Come on. That you're going to use these scars to bring you glory. Come on. God's going to use our story. The jail time, the probation, the parole for his glory in the name of Jesus. Come on, that anger, that anxiety, that depression, those drugs, oh, for the glory of God. Come on, your bad credit. Come on, getting evicted, being homeless, all for the glory of God. Lord, I thank you, Father God. We ain't going to be ashamed of it. We ain't going to be ashamed of it. Amen. Come on, God's going to use that divorce for his glory. Yes, God can use you after you went through a divorce. My God, Lord, I thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, that you use imperfect people in the Bible. Lord, you use a lot of imperfect people in the Bible. And God, and we thank you for using us, for calling us for such a time as this. Because we don't got it all together, no matter how, how much we think we do, God. None of us have arrived today. So we're grateful, Father God, for, for choosing us, for using us, for putting some power and some anointing on our lives, God. Some of us, God, are still smoking, God. But you put an anointing on our life to use us, oh God. God, and we just ain't come to our deliverance yet. Some of us are still cursing, oh God. But God, you you calling us to ministry, God. Some of us, God, are having problems with our flesh, and we, some of us are still in fornication. But God, I ask you, God, to work on us, deliver us, and set us free from that. Some of us still got anger, God. Some of us, God, still lying and cheating and, and and stealing things, God. But I ask you, God, to bring us to a level of deliverance that we don't want to sin against you, God. Put a love in our heart for you, God. So we love you so much that we don't want to sin against you, God. You said if we love you, we follow your commandments God so bless us to fall so in love with you father that we don't want to sin against you no more God God some of us God is still dressing like a seductress but you're still calling on our lives so God I ask you Lord God to use us for your glory God let's let us be modest God in our apparel our God Lord let us not lead people astray God God we repent for the times we grieved you we repent for the times we vexed you but God today we get serious with you God today Today we said later for sin, later for backsliding, later for living on the fence, later for being lukewarm, later for being cold. God, today, God, I ask you to set us on fire today, God. Let us go all the way with you, God, so the devil can no longer cause us to be ashamed, so the devil can no longer cause us to be humiliated, so the devil can no longer uh, make us feel like we're hypocrites, so the devil can no longer condemn us, so the devil cannot use anything against us and saying, well, you still a liar. You still doing this. You living a double life. The devil is a liar. The devil has no legal right to torment our minds anymore. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you, Father God. God, Lord, if you use Rahab, she was a prostitute. Lord, I know you can use us on this line today. God, if you use Moses when he had a stuttering problem, I know you can use us on this line today, God. God, if you use David when he committed adultery and he killed a lot of people, you can use us today, God. God, Lord, I, I thank you that you're no respecter of a person. We're not going to be ashamed of where we come from. If you come from the streets, I pray that we own it. Yes, we came from the streets. Oh, God. God, if you came, God, from a, a one-parent home and a 
if a father was an alcoholic and a womanizer, God, I decree we're going to own that, Lord. And we're going to use that for our, our, our testimonies in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I decree and declare we're not going to be ashamed anymore of our past. We're not going to be ashamed anymore of the things that we have done, the mistakes we have made. I decree and declare that we're going to have freedom in our lives. And God, even some of us are going to be mentors. Even some of us are going to be spiritual parents. Even some of us are going to go out and preach the gospel with power and authority and through our mistakes will help a lot of people out for your glory in Jesus name Lord God I thank you Father God hallelujah Lord God I decree and declare come on the old things become new whatever it is today the old things become new it's becoming new today. It's becoming new. My God, we are a new creature in Christ. We are a new creature in Christ. The old has been buried. Amen. The old has been buried. Amen. It has been buried. Amen. And a new man has risen. A new man has risen. In the name of Jesus, a new creature has risen. Ah, harash. If you got background noise, please mute. Hear a lot of background noise. Please mute. Thank you. Hallelujah. Lord God, I decree and declare, come on, we walk in the spirit. Amen. Come on, we walk in the spirit so we don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. So therefore, God, since we're walking in the spirit, the enemy cannot condemn us. Because you said in Romans 8, 1, there's no condemnation of those that walk in the spirit. That, 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 that's in Christ Jesus, that walk in the spirit. So we walk in the spirit today. Amen. Come on, we're on assignment. We're on, we, 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 we have a mandate on our lives. There's a purpose that God has placed on our lives. We're not going to let the enemy, come on, condemn us in Jesus' name. Never again, never again for the people that want us to fail, for the people that the spectators, the onlookers, the people that's praying against us to fail. There will be no shame. There will be no shame. We're going to rise up because God is preparing a table before us in the presence of our enemies. I decree and declare instead of failure, we will succeed. Amen. We may have failed one time. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be ashamed of that failure. Amen. A righteous man may fail fail seven times, but it gets back up again. We're going to get back up again. My God, the ministry may not work out the first time. The book launched it may not work out the first time. The business launched it may not work out the first time. The organization launched it may not work out the first time. Your first marriage may not work out the first time, but I decree and declare when we fail one time, we're going to get back up again. And Jesus, there ain't going to be no shame. My God, there ain't going to be no shame. I decree and declare we're going to be great examples. We're going to be kingdom ambassadors. We're, re we're representations of Jesus Christ. We're ambassadors of Christ Jesus, and I decree and declare there's going to be a level of freedom in our minds today, a level of freedom in Jesus' name, a level of freedom in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you that you're that that, that you're you're full of mercy and grace. Come on, God is full of mercy. He's so full of grace. He wants to give us another chance, another opportunity today, another chance. Come on, stop beating yourself up. It's no more self-condemnation. No more self-condemnation. Come on, some people on this line is dealing with that spirit. You don't need the devil to beat you up because you beat yourself up. Come on, we're going to give that to God today. Say, God, I'm not going to beat myself up anymore, God. I'm not going to attack myself up anymore, God. I'm not going to be so hard on myself anymore, God. I'm going to forgive myself today, God. Yes, I messed up. Yeah, I shouldn't have did that. Yes, I made some mistakes, but I'm going to forgive myself today. Come on, forgive yourself today. Say, God... I forgive myself today, God. God, I give you the hurt. I give you the pain. I give you the frustration. I forgive myself today. Come on, so you can get free today. Close the portal to hell. Yeah, you messed up. Yeah, you got anger. Yeah, you cursed that lady out. Yeah, you you hit someone. Yeah, you, you, you did that and did that. You, you grieve God. But you forgive yourself today. You forgive yourself. We, we repent today. We're going to get it right today. We're not going to keep on grieving God anymore. The devil's not going to cause us to be ashamed and be condemned and say, ha, 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 you're no good. Ha, ha, ha. I told you, you, you it's not going to work. The devil is a liar. We uproot every lie. We will root every torment and spirits we were root we uproot every uh, uh demon of vexation in jesus name the devil can no longer harass our minds the devil can no longer harass our hearts the devil can no longer harass our emotions in jesus name i decree and declare freedom 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 i loose the fire of god fire of god the fire of god the fire of god the fire of god on this line today the fire of god i bind up retaliation i bind up a uh, backlash in the name of jesus come on be free today. Give it to God. Come on, you messed up one time, but that don't define where you're going. 
Come on, that don't stop you from being anointed. Come on, God anointed you. God appointed you. God has chosen you. Stop beating yourself up. I prophesy that our mindsets on this line today is renewed. It's been renewed, renewed, renewed. It's been renewed. We're not going to be conformed. We're going to renew our minds, a new mindset today. God, give us the right perspective today. Give us the right mindset today. You said, God, your mercy and your grace is renewed day by day, day by day, day by day. So this is a new day, God. So we're not going to take yesterday's problems, yesterday's old mindset into this day in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we're not going to take the problems that we may have with ourselves, our insecurities, our flaws into this brand new day. The devil is a liar, which just not going to do it in Jesus name. We're not going to do it. Come on. Stop being ashamed. God, well, what people going to think about me? You know, my marriage didn't work out. What people going to think about me? Lord, nobody came to my meetings. What people going to think about me? We, 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 who cares what people think? I'd rather obey God than men. I prophesy a level of obedience in our lives that's never before. We're going to obey God. I don't care if it looks like people are laughing at us. I decree and declare through the Holy Spirit. We're going to have the last laugh today in the name of Jesus. We're going to have the last laugh at the Holy Spirit. We may start off small, but God says in this word, do not despise small beginnings in the name of Jesus. And we will not be ashamed. Come on, of our past. We will not even be ashamed of our current cir circumstances. Somebody on this line said, God, I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging everybody else, but my marriage is falling apart. God, I'm encouraging everybody else. God, but, but I'm going through financial problems. God, I'm praying for everybody else, but I need healing. And you and you allow the devil to cause you to have a, sh a level of shame and embarrassment. I decree the, the, the later for embarrassment. Amen. We are walking in purpose. We are walking in assignment. We are walking in destiny. In the name of Jesus, I feel the glory of God on this word. Come on. I decree and declare, come on, we're going to be fearless in this season. Fearless. 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 Come on, fear can't attach to our, 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 our bodies anymore. No more fear. Come on, point to yourself, say, no more fear in my body in Jesus' name. No more fear in this body in Jesus' name. Come on. No more fear. I'm not going to be afraid of the devil. I'm not going to be afraid of people's opinions. I'm not going to be afraid of the deep. I'm not going to be afraid of the unknown. No more fear in this body in Jesus' name. No more fear. No more fear. No more fear. Come on. I'm not going to be afraid of their opinions. I'm not going to be afraid of their faces. I'm not going to be afraid. No more fear. Come on, some of us can't even walk in our purpose because we're afraid of people's faces. God, well, they looking at me crazy when I prophesy. So what? If you hear from God, you hear from God. That's between them and God. In Jesus' name. Come on. I decree and declare. Come on. If we're... If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive our sins. And it cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Come on, God's going to, he's going to cleanse us. God sent a refiner's fire today on this line. Come on, let's lift hands. Let's receive it. God send your refiner's fire. Send your refiner's fire. Send your refiner's fire. Send your fire, your fire, your fire, your fire. A refiner's fire. Come on, let's press in the eye for the fire being loose today. Ah, a refiner's fire. A refiner's fire. Purge us, God. Sanctify us, God. Get any anything out of us, God, that don't belong. Anything that's grievous to you, God. Get it out, God. Get the shame up out. Get the pain out, God. Get the burdens out, God. Get it out in the name of Jesus. Come on. God says in, in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray and seek my face, turn from the wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. So I want to prophesy that day in our lives. Come on, it's a healing in the land. There's a healing in the land. Come on. So people on this line today, you got wounds you're carrying from years ago, from way back. Come on. God's going to have a healing in the land today. I prophesy a healing in the land today. A healing. Come on. Let's lay hands on your heart. Touch 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 your heart today. I send for fire. 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 Fire the Holy Spirit. Touch God. Touch Ha! Roshe, de de marashe. Ha! I feel the, I feel the deliverance anointing today. God says, children, you don't have to be ashamed because I'm lifting you up out of the pit. I'm taking off the 
filthy garments and putting on garments of righteousness on you through my son, Jesus Christ. I am opening up paths for you to operate in my glory, for you to operate in a stronger dimension 